Ah, with Christmas. <laughs> they don't joke with it. Oh. Uh, it's not yet um, December. We are still in November. Today is 29. Yeah. Today is 29 of December. What's happening? Nabi Demi. Abi Odu, what is happening? Adiola. Ah, I learned that uh, a bag of rice is now 52,000 naira. Is that true? Wow. 52,000 naira for one bag of rice. Hmm. <laughs> mm, that's, that's really, uh, it's going to be tough for some families. It's going to be really tough. Last year, Christmas, I remember, I think uh, we bought, uh, uh, because we did palliatives, you know, uh, we bought for 35, 35, 40. And just imagine how many percentage now. 52,000 naira. They've, they've added up more than 10,000 naira to it. 10, 15,000 naira. The cost of living is increasing in Nigeria. Hey, my moderator. Good evening and you're welcome. Okay. Good evening. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Abiondu, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> so um bag of a bag of rice is now fifty two thousand naira, right? Abiodu, is that true? Hey Abiodu is praying already. <laughs> Abiodu, if only if only prayer can change Nigeria, eh? I tell you, you will not be praying today. It would have it would have changed it for so many years. Prayer cannot change Nigeria. This is one thing Nigerians should just accept that prayer cannot change Nigeria. What can change Nigeria is the citizens. Only the citizens of Nigeria can change Nigeria. Not one man, not Obi, not Peter, not James, not uh, uh, Adiola, not uh, Abiodun, not uh, not an individual. The citizens, they are the ones that can mm -hmm. that can change Nigeria. If at all, if at all. <laughs> but to change Nigeria, I doubt. Oh. I doubt oh. the 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 degree of um, the degree of uh, corruption. And poverty is just too, it's too much now. It's too much, it's too much, it's too much, you know. You know. So, um, let's go, let's go. Please start then. They are not aware we are in this platform. Um, yes, I have, um, I want to, I will, I will log on that uh, group. I want to make a, a, a meeting in that group with, um, especially the most um, active members before the 20, Yet of December, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Even though uh, I'm taking note, I know I know the people that are really um, active, the, those who are really working in that mm -hmm. platform. I know them. I know them. Um, you know, I would like to have a meeting with them. Um, they are not more than they are not more than ten, highest fifteen, but mm -hmm. the the most active ones, those that I know that every blessed day they are working in that platform. The approximately 12 persons I've really noticed that are working, you know. So, um, but we are still watching, uh, before uh, the 24th of uh, December, I mean, the 20th of December. Hey, I would all like you. Good evening, good evening to you. Good evening, welcome. You're welcome. How are you doing? How are you, lovely mo mothers, doing out there? Ah, uh, yeah, the breeze of Christmas is blowing. I can see that. <laughs> I can see a lot of a lot of women as they are agitated. They are agitated now. They are worried what to give, what to prepare for children, what to, buying of clothes, buying of shoes, etc. Et it's just a tradition, you know. <laughs> I I don't celebrate Christmas anyway, but I I really I admire people the way they prepare for it. You know, families, the children. I remember those days. I'm gonna give my own story. Those days how we used to celebrate it. <laughs> something is really these days when i remember it i will be laughing i'm laughing at myself mm -hmm. you know it's crazy this christmas festival uh period you know um is competitive very very you know within the children the the, the mothers the fathers the friends etc it's very very competitive period you know 
So uh, I don't I don't know if things have changed anyway. In those days, I know how it was uh, celebrated when I was still very young as a child. Um, it was it was fun. It was really really fun. Um, of course, it, the, the, the 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 way they do it here is different from uh, Nigeria. Yeah, there is too the difference is too much. Maybe it's because the the weather is cold. The weather is very very cold here. So maybe. Hey, Facebook is giving me a, a fake um, fake eyelash, and I have a very beautiful natural one. I don't need fake one. Facebook, don't give me fake fake eyelash. I don't fix eyelash. It's one of the... If there's anything I ate in makeup, is eyelash. Fake one, I mean, because this is my own. Let me show you my own. This is my own. This one is natural. I didn't put anything. I, I don't fix... This is my own. I have very long one. <laughs> so I don't need to fix artificial eyelash, you know. So um the application I'm using on Facebook is is adding an eyelash to my, you know. So those days, thank you for for uh, you know tagging them. Tag all of them in that group. Let them know that we have a platform uh, 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 where we will be talking. The, the other platform has not been released from uh, Shadow Band. It's still on Shadow Band. So we'll be using this page. Okay, this page uh, is also uh, as good as uh, uh, Talk Culture. Okay, even though Ejiro is not there, the name Ejiro is not there, but it's Talk Culture uh, TV. Okay, so uh, network is bad. Yeah, ma. Oh, why now? Why is network disturbing you people? I don't like it too, when network is disturbing. My, my my lovely uh, mothers here. Where is uh, Mike? I have not se I have not seen Mike. Where is Mike? Can somebody tag Mike? And I'm not seeing this. Mr. Sunday is not here. Mr. Sunday is not here. I mean, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Abudola. Thank you so much. You too. I've seen you. You are a very beautiful woman. All of you are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Huh? Have been a uh, um. I've been a what is an um Oyeneye Oyeneye beautiful woman very funny <laughs> and Mercy where are you Mercy Mercy always like posting funny video uh, pictures and videos no 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 <laughs> she like posting funny uh, pictures and videos you know I'm enjoying you guys honestly so I was talking I was saying something about um Christmas those in those days. You know, <laughs> I don't know how they celebrate it these days. Maybe somebody can uh, brief me, you know. In those days, I, I'm saying in those days, as if it's maybe 50 years back or 60 years back. I'm not even up to 50 years. So in those days, uh, okay, let me say 20 years, 30 years back, you know, those days, okay. How do, before Christmas, you see how we'll be worried. We'll be worried how we're going to celebrate it, especially... When, when, after I lost my dad, it was not, since we are not that easy, you know, uh, my mother was struggling as a widow to, to take care of us and, uh, no. So to, to just to, to, to brief you people how I, 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 you know, we are celebrating it then. You see, we'll be agitated. We'll be worried. We'll be, ah, what are you going to wear? Have you gotten your clothes? Have you gotten your shoes? You know, we'll be discussing about it. Some of us will write letters. We'll, we'll put an, we'll give the letters, put it in an envelope, uh, sharing it to family, sharing it to, you know, uncles around, the bro uh, aunties, you know, uh, expecting some little cash that if they give us cash, we can use it to go and buy clothes. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> We all have wear new clothes and uh, during Christmas and New Year. <laughs> those days. <laughs> and high shoes, you know, he's this um ladies he use now, you know. This only Christmas and New Year. Maybe when you want to go to church too, you wear you wear clothes. But the very new one, brand new clothes is on that day. <laughs> we keep it for that day. So <coughs> Okay, you see, Mary said that they are preparing for Christmas for the children. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, that's good. <laughs> so we'll try to do Christmas for some some children in this uh, our platform. We'll try to 
I personally will. I will. I don't celebrate. Or, or I'm not gonna say that I'm doing Christmas for anybody. I will just say, okay, I, I'm just a, 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 you know, giving the end of year. I, I'm gonna target another name, not Christmas, because I don't celebrate Christmas anyway. So, but I, we are going to do a giveaway for our children. We are not give, doing giveaway for our mothers so because our mothers they they are they are. They are they are, they are old enough, okay, to look at that for themselves. So, but I love giving uh, to, to young children. So if we have young children, yeah, for sure. We cannot give to everybody, but uh, I don't know how we're going to do that. But we'll try to give uh, do give away for, for the children, you know. New clothes. <laughs> so we, we, after buying the new clothes, first... You have to test it to make sure that you fit in. And then the most funniest part, this is not even the clothes. You know, we we'll go and buy a, a relaxer. We want to coil our hair. We want to have... <laughs> I don't know, maybe some of you did this also. You know? We we'll go and buy a relaxer. We want to coil the hair to make sure that the hair will look very beautiful. The hair. Sometimes, if you if you don't go to salute to do it, if you decide to do it yourself because you don't have money, before you know it, the relaxer have eaten all your score. <laughs> it will burn your score. Then <laughs> you can no longer braid the hair. Or some people will prefer to braid. Okay, and some will prefer to braid, while others will prefer to uh, just pen it and uh, put um. Uh, cream and then the hair will become very very coily then it makes you look very feminine more feminine you know so we'll do that and in fact if you don't have money there was a time something they call soda came up people soda was very cheap then so instead of if you cannot have money to buy relaxer right you buy soda because soda is very cheap <laughs> you know you will see some people after they will put soda on their head you will see that soda so, soda the soda soap will burn the skull soda is very very hot very i don't know what they used to make that chemical soap it will burn the hair body the hair will we, the, this the hair will not gum the skull their skull <laughs> horrible experience <laughs> that's what it's not today people have been suffering in that country. It's not today. Children, people, some people, they, they started to suffer from childhood until, before, until they die in Nigeria. They never enjoyed one day. They never enjoyed life. It's very sad. So, they will now use soda to perm the hair. Then, some will go and buy occasion. Those days, I, we don't used to buy anyway because... Um, my my other sisters, you know, she, they were doing very well. She used to to send everything, food, clothes. Uh -huh. So every December we'll be looking, we'll be we'll be checking. Ah, they have not come yet. Or then there was no smartphone, so you cannot even call. You know, at the way we communicate now, we'll be looking. They we are living in the north. My other sister will be looking. Ah, I hope sister will come this Christmas. If not, <laughs> no rice, no meat, nothing, nothing. So we'll be looking. Sometimes they will just show on the twenty. 24th or, or show on the uh, on the 23rd hey, everywhere go come boom say yes we are good to go <laughs> you know <laughs> so that's how we used to do it then on on the eve of christmas don't go there <laughs> you will see we'll go and build a kind of cab uh, cabin we'll build this cabin we we'll sometimes we use um um Palm, palm, palm leaf. We use palm leaf. We build cabin. That cabin will be there. We'll be buying all these sparkling uh, lights. Uh, we call them abisco those days. I used to, I used to play a lot. <laughs> My, let me tell you, people now. So I used to play a lot. I like playing, playing with friends. You know, uh, you know, it's very, it was very fun then. So. We'll be singing, you know, we'll be singing, we'll be going out, you know, singing. It was very beautiful. If you have small money, you go, you go to the, the next junction, you see people frying um, a fried yam, f for selling meat, pork meat. I mean, you buy, you eat, you come back, and uh, that was all, etc. Et that was on the evil. And then one lie they told us, because this video is about lie, okay? They told us a lie. On the 31st night. And my mother used to believe then. <laughs> I don't know if she, she at, at her age now. If I should remind her that. I'm going to try to remind her since this is the period. My mother would never keep food. If she prepared the food 31st. She would never allow that food to enter 30, uh, on the 1st. <laughs> Superstitious. 
superstitious belief. And we, growing up, we, we you have to, whatever your parents tell you, you believe. You okay? You believe. So, <coughs> I don't know if some of you also had this experience, what I'm talking about, the, the, the 31st uh, night. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not through yet. Let me finish with the Christmas before I enter 31st night. Let me not jump it. So on the on, on the eve, after we've done all that, we'll be saying, uh, let, I will use my dialect. This is how we used to say it to um, Christmas. We'll be singing Christmas, happy Christmas, uh, 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 wash night, uh, Christmas, wash night. We'll be singing in the, in the, in the, um, in the streets, happy Christmas, happy Christmas, etc. So, on the twenty fifth morning, ba -ba, everybody we see people dressing up. <laughs> some people, some people will wear oversized shoes. <laughs> the dressing up is to get ready to visit uncles, aunties, nephews, everybody in the family. Both mom, uh, your mama's friends, your your daddy's friend, your daddy's family, your mommy's family. That's how we used to do it. Okay, during uh, those days, we used to. One thing I like about that period is very familiar. It's a very familiar period where by the, 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 the children, they visit their uncles, their aunties, their, the, you know, their, 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 their eldest brother, eldest sister, family, just family within, you know. So it doesn't matter how far that family is. We will target because we know that when you get to each family, they are going to give you uh, food. After eating food, they will give you money. But sometimes we don't eat because the stomach is so filled up, you know. Some you go to some family house, they will just carry a big plate of rice for you with with meat, everything go fuller. After you don't eat, 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 some will not give you money. <laughs> you don't eat, finish now. Come they go. Sometimes we, after we finish eating, we will just be waiting. <laughs> you know, use your church mind and the money we call for no be rice. <laughs> The auntie will not use her church mind. She, she will say, when I don't eat finish, when I don't want to go to my mama. <laughs> As we'll be going on the way, we'll be gossiping her. Ah, this auntie said now, it's too stingy, eh? Yeah, we'll be right, we call it. <laughs> you know, because we, after everything, we have to calculate how much we earn for that day. Then we have to share it within ourselves. So, after you from one auntie to the other, go to the uncle, and sometimes you will be, will be lucky that so uncle will just give us big money. Say, okay, take all of you, take this money. Ah, so we say, ah, I didn't have time to cook, or oh, I've not finished cooking, I'm still cooking. Okay, and uh, take this money, okay? So they will just give us, so we'll be ga ga gathering the money. And of course, as you are going on your way, you will see some people, they already hold their shoe <laughs> because it's too tight or <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> They are tired of walking. <laughs> and those days, there's all that we used to do. Some parents, they love buying uh, the same cloth, identical clothes to their children. They will buy the same, the same. Not even that the kids are, are twin. No? I don't know why they do that tradition. Also, it's their culture. Custom, it's a custom of Christmas. They will buy the same. <laughs> After eating food, they will give us money. Yes. Uh -huh, you see, Abiyodi is, is she's confirming this. Are they still doing that? Are they still doing that in Nigeria? <laughs> it's funny, you know, the, those days. I don't think kids are doing it anymore. <laughs> the, the ones of today, their eyes don't open. Eh? <laughs> they, they, may they go, may they go dress up, begin they go visit. I'm not sure say that they do that in again. Hey, are they tune? Are they tune? I can yell you. You're welcome. I am good. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yes. Are these kids still going to houses, from houses to houses, houses to houses? I don't know if they are still doing it. If they are doing it, please tell me. <laughs> okay. So, what, what, after them, we will not have to go to, um, we will not have to go, uh, when you are going in the street, we will be laughing at, we will be laughing at those that, that, that have removed their shoes. <laughs> you know, maybe sometimes as you are laughing at somebody, before you know it, you yourself, you are drawing, drawing your leg. You are already slummy because your shoe is paining you. <laughs> you want your shoe and you be trekking. Someone will say, ah, we never go meet that uncle, oh. that uncle, you know that uncle that is living in that place now? The other one will say, no, uncle is no longer living there. He has packed up. Oh, no, he's there. Let's go. But the place is too far now. We can't go. Let's take bus. If we take bus, how much will remain in our pocket? <laughs> so we will trek, 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 trek. Sometimes we 
because when we get there, we we'll see the uncle. Uncle will say, "Oh, you are welcome. How are you? Longest time." Oh, that time my life the sweet family was very sweet then. Phone, phone don't don't bring vacuum. Phone, technology has brought vacuum between families. Today we no longer see that love, that familiar way of living. We no longer see it. We no longer see it. It's, it's very very sad. But anyway, I'm very familiar. Even though we are here. I love it when during a festive period like this, we come together, my sisters, the children. It's very, very, for me, it's very important, you know, you know. So, so, <laughs> I've already said, I remember uh, last year when my kids go to uh, Just Street, Just Street. Is it Just Street? Where is Just Street? Or Just Street, okay? Some of them, of of shoe. Rich home. <laughs> you bought their tight shoes. <laughs> you bought them tight shoes. Have you do? <laughs> you see that? So that 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 means it's still uh, they are still doing it. This is very lovely. I really, I, I really would have loved to witness that thing again. I I I would love to witness it. Really, if to say, if to say, I get the I I can just do it this year. I was okay. Let me just go Nigeria. I will just sit in the street on the twenty fifth, be watching children like this, and oh my God, I it will it will really um bring me flashback, good memories those days. Then. During the, the New Year, uh, um, New Year Eve, the after Christmas, oh yeah, we start preparing for New Year. <laughs> we, we start preparing. Mm -hmm. And do you know that we always make sure we keep the finest cloth for New Year? It's not when they bought, they bought, they bought you two clothes, okay? You will keep the finest one and the finest shoe for, for New Year. <laughs> so. On the New Year Eve, we'll be we'll be singing Happy New Year today. I want a rook Happy New Year today. I want a rook We'll be singing, you know, in my dialect. We'll be singing it like that, you know. So on New Year Eve is wonderful. Everybody we we go to church on on uh, before midnight. Some people they will go to church eleven thirty. They just want to be in church thirty minutes. It's also superstitious, okay. This is also superstitious. Everybody must go to church 31st. Ah, I want to make sure that uh, a new year meets me in church in the house of God. <laughs> hey, those days, deeper life. I remember the last the last church I, I, I went before I left. It was deeper life. Hi. Deeper life, we all program for four, four hours. <laughs> Your nyash go nearly done inside church. <laughs> Hey, and the preaching, the preaching pattern. You know, it's not that ch kind of church. Now, nah, nah, no deeper life pattern. Nah. You cannot dance all this really dance. They, they are so, you know, angelic, uh, uh, righteousness. <laughs> all those, uh, you know, they are. Hey, I go tired. Yes, I say, ah, wow. Wait, you be looking at time. Time never still reach. Eh? Immediately, twelve sun. Bagel every yeah, candle, Catholic. They all candle. They say this candle. The candle also have its own significance. It also signifies something. All the superstitions that goes with Christmas and New Year, Africa. <laughs> che, che. Eh? You need candle. You need a candle. Those people sell a candle. They used to sell a lot. I don't know if they do candle today. It's crazy. Eh? And when I came here. I didn't see all those things. And I was like, is this another word? <laughs> how can you even, how can children even go out if at all? But I didn't see those things. Because here is very cold. Oh god. I I I I I have a meeting. I have to let me postpone this meeting. I have to postpone it because I'm doing this program. I'm 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 happy uh, talking with uh, Okay, this is okay. Solve this issue. So, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Who, you know, uh, I don't even know where I, uh, where I was before the call came in. Somebody should remind me. <laughs> Do you see? The distraction, I'm, I'm distracted now. Um, I think I was talking about... Uh, help me, please! <laughs> help me, help me. Uh, oh, how are you doing? Hey, Mr. Mr. Mike, you are welcome. Those people, eh? Their own two door deeper life. Okay, okay, thank you. I was talking about deeper life. <laughs> their own door. Wait, wait, seriously, but they don't change today. They watch TV now. They do a lot of things. They don't. They, they don't. They do like this again. You know, this is in fact. See, in those days, deeper life. Now, so you must cover a rich year. Even this cap, now seen. This cap, now seen. There is a way they tie their tie. You go cover the ear finish the ear. Eh, you cover and finish. <laughs> if you don't do like that, the first year I traveled back home to to Nigeria, but I went to church with my mom in the parlor. They were looking at me as if this one I started as even though I was dressed modest, I was really moderate. My dressing was moderate. There was nothing, no no makeup, nothing. But they still they look me like ah, Mama, this your daughter now is not she's not a believer. <laughs> she's not <laughs> she's not a born again. <laughs> Before we arrived, my mother was already, already looking at me. Oh my God, self righteousness is a sin. Self righteousness, you know, looking at people in the outward, condemning them, you know, is a sin. You know. Talk, okay. Uh, so, um, please share. Let us share the program. Let us share the program. It's very important for us to share the program. Let us share the program, please. Okay. Let us share the program. Hey, please share, share, share. And I'm, I'm, I'm appreciating you already for sharing the program. Somebody is using one of my accounts. This is, this is terrible. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'll come, I'll come. Please share, share, share. Let us share. So, in deeper life, so once it is 12, you see Catholic church people carrying their candles. You see other, other churches coming out. Some also carry candles, not only Catholic church. Then, you will see uh, everyone coming back home, singing uh, Hosanna songs, believing that, oh, they have entered the new year with a new soul, a new body, a new mindset, a new re resolution. People will be giving resolution. What is your new year resolution? What is uh, your new year resolution? The resolution doesn't last more than two days or two, three days. They don't go back to their old uh, 20, uh, 2009 life or 2020 life. Or <laughs> so <coughs> that's how Christmas used to be. As I told, it used to be Christmas, New Year. And I know that every fam, every parent, I mean, those that are, are celebra still celebrating it, okay? I know that this period, they are already planning. I be doing a lie. I be, Mr. Mr. Michael, is it a lie? Are you guys not planning for Christmas? Because our little footballer, our little footballer need to dress. Assume I'm in Nigeria now. Footballer will come to my house and visit me. Auntie, hey, auntie, Lizzo, you, I just came to visit you. I will say, oh, my footballer, you're so welcome. Oh, sit down. I will feed him with enough rice. After feeding him with enough rice, I will tell him, but my dear, I don't have money. Oh, please, oh, just tell your mommy that I send my greetings. <laughs> no, I'm not that, uh, I'm not that. <laughs> That kind of auntie that will make the child when the child is going on the way. This auntie is too stingy. Ah, auntie cannot even dash Percy. Ordinary 10 naira or 20 naira. Auntie cannot dash Percy. Ah, give Percy rice. Ah, I don't want to eat rice. <laughs> oh my God. So this, this we are all lies. We were lied to. We were lied to that. Uh, if you, if you cook food on the 31st night, you don't allow that food to get in. On the first, we were lied to. I was growing up with this, uh, thinking this this lie was a true. You know, I was thinking it was a truth, but it was a lie. We were lied to. We were also lied to that Jesus, okay, was born on the twenty fifth. As I was growing up, I was believing in these lies, okay. 
it will be a lie too. There were so many lies that were told to us, and we adopted them, and we we we, we started uh, uh, believing them, and even teaching our children. But thank God, I, I never teach any of my children uh, that uh, Christmas uh, Jesus was born. I don't know what the date he was born, and he never instructed me to celebrate his birthday. So why should I uh, lie? To tell my children that 25th is a Jesus birthday. Somebody declared, declared that day as his birthday and everyone is celebrating. It could be a festival. It could be a no normal festival. That's fine. You see, they could say, okay, this 25th is dedicated as a Christian day or believer's day. That's fine. That's fine. That is like not adding. Not adding. It's just a kind of a tradition. Christian's tradition, okay, but tagging it to the, the, the Messiah, tagging it to his birthday, is, to me, is a lie. It's a lie, and I am not, I don't want to be part of that lie, okay. So that is me, anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> we, we always believe in many lies now, Mr. Michael. <laughs> big, big and beautiful lies. <laughs> the lies are so beautiful, so we accepted all of them. Even as today, as it is today, some people don't want you to to to, to ask them uh, if it is true that Jesus was born to it. They don't like to, you to tell them because for them is a is a is a beautiful period for them. They, they don't care. They say, "I beg, I no care, I no care whether they're born at that day or not." All I know, be say, uh, "Na Christmas." You understand? So, so there's one picture on such on uh, Google. If you type on Google, you will see the picture there. The little child was asking for their Christmas. Where are you in? The Bible for the Christmas. It's just a very funny cartoon picture. It said, "Where are you in the Bible?" The, the child was curious, you know. But uh, for the Christmas, said, "Oh, I'm sorry, I, I'm not in the Bible. You were lied to." <laughs> it's not good for us to lie to our children. We tell them the truth. Celebrating it is not the problem. The problem is the lies that goes with it. You understand? A period of love, a period where people show love to each other. I don't see anything wrong in sharing love. It's important to show love to people. Okay? Because a lot of people are busy from January to December. So if there is one month that is dedicated to sharing of love, showing of uh, kindness, okay? I think it's worth it. It's worth it. So I don't think anybody should go against it. But the lies that was used to, to be promoting this thing is what uh, I really don't agree with. So now, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you know, I used to have cough, so the cough, the cough is healing gradually. So my throat is, is irritating sometimes. So what are the lies they told us and the lies they told their children? And what are the lies we were told and we are now ready to reject? And the lies that children want, to, they want to know the truth about the lies they were told. Yes, as it is today, African children are waking up to understand that they were lied to about their ancestors being very, you know, not intelligent, being very dull. Don't, doesn't know how to do anything. They are good at nothing. They are not intelligent. They were not civilized. All these were lies. Okay? And for these lies to be well packaged, they need to steal all the good artwork of your ancestors. They need to steal them, bring them to their land, use it to put them in their museum, and they call them artifacts. Okay? Today, African children are waking up and are saying, no, our ancestors used to be very, very smart. They used to be very creative, innovative. They have done a lot of things. They are productive. Why are you telling us that they never did these things? But these things are here. You took them and you're conserving them in your museum. And today, based on the fact that African children are rising up and asking these questions, their own children are now Ask, rising up to say, we were also lied to. Oh, we know. We know everything that happened. They didn't tell us the truth. What they told us is not the truth. 
What they told us about the African people is not the truth. What they told us about the India is not the truth. So internet, internet is exposing a lot of hidden things, hidden atrocities. And of course, the African children are not taking it lightly. Some of them don't even want to forgive. There are others who wants to forgive, who are willing to forgive, and who are ready to open their hands to say, let us work together. Respect me, I respect you. Do business with me, let that mutual respect be there. There are some who said, I don't even want you at all. For all you did to my ancestors, for all the lies, for all the atrocities, for all the killings, for all the brutality, for all the hate, for all the, you know, Name it. I don't even want to have anything to do with you. Yes, that is how it, it is. We are all humans. People accept things different, differently. People react in different ways. The way I will react, that's not how you uh, react, okay? So, this is the situation. And today, their children, some of their children, are still conserving the evil. They are still, they still want that evil that their forefathers did to Africa to continue because they are enjoying it. They are benefiting from it. But at the same time, some of their children are coming now to say, no, we, 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 we are not there when our ancestors did these things. But we acknowledge that these things are bad. But today we want our ancestors to accept and apologize that they should be changed. Change, okay? You understand it? This is, this is how it is now. The Western children, the African children, they are reacting towards the history, the bad past history. To the Western, to the Westerners, to some of their children, they see their ancestors as great people because their ancestors went to Africa to steal, to destroy, and to conquer. Why the African uh, children, they see their ancestors as a people who were subdued, who were brutalized, who were treated inhumanly. So they are pained. It is difficult for you to remove that pain from the heart of the African child. It, it, is, it is you that you that beats a child and tell the child, don't cry. It's easy for you to say that. Do you think it is easy for that child to stop crying? The child will not stop crying. Okay? So this is the situation now. So I have some videos that I'm going to play for you. For you to really see how we were lied to and how their own children were lied to. Today you will see in European Parliament, you will see in, 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 in French House of Assembly, in the Spanish House of Assembly, in the uh, uh, Italian House of Assembly, you will see where the people are speaking up. They are speaking against what their ancestors did. They are speaking against the continuation of the invasion of Africa through um, the African leaders, okay? They are speaking against these things to let you know that there's going to be a change. I have, I'm saying it very, 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 very glaring that this change is going to come, okay? Hey, Oluwa Femi, good evening to you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, some of the children are the same as their fathers. Exactly. Just like I rightly said, Mr. Mr. Michael, there are some of them today... When you talk about what their ancestors did to our ancestors, they get upset. These ones, they are still happy, enjoying what their forefathers, what their ancestors, are, their, their, I mean, their government is doing to the African government. Where there are some of them, they are against what their government is doing to Africa. And they are calling the African people to rise up, to, to stop their government from continuation of, to, to be exploiting the African resources. I do follow some of these uh, French uh, activists, and I must tell you that I am loving the job these people are doing. They are really doing a very good job, sensitization job. They are doing waking up. They are trying to wake up uh, the consciousness of uh, the, uh, some African people who think that coming to Europe is all that they need to do to survive. Okay, so these things are there. Now, let me play this video for you. I want you to pay attention to this video. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you so much. I see that. Now, this video is a lie told to their children. I have another one. I've been looking for the other one. I, I watched it this morning. I thought I saved it. Of course, I know I saved it, but I cannot find the phone because <laughs> me, I did this line 
then the other line, then the other line, then the other, I have four lines. So sometimes I may not know which, which phone I save a particular video. So now look, let's listen to him. Look at him. Everybody out there in the TikTok sphere, I see listen. a slippery slope happening in our country. Listen to him. I gotta be honest with you. Everybody out there in the TikTok sphere, I see a slippery slope happening in our country. And I have to ask a hard truth. What is next? If we allow history books in our public schools that tell the truth about racism and slavery in our country, what's to prevent more books, more history, more truth that depict how we stole every last acre of this country from the Indians that already lived here? How we tricked and lied and heard and made treaties and then broke them all What's to prevent history books from telling our kids how we stole Texas and California from Mexico? Um, or how about while Abraham so Lincoln... So, you see, yeah. why we are complaining that history book, they, they remove history from, uh, from school in Africa because they don't want us to know the truth of their invasion or of how they came and steal things, artifacts that our forefathers built, okay? You don't want us to know the truth, what, why they came and what they did to us. You don't want us to know the truth. They also, they hide the truth from their own children, the truth that the atrocities they did to be able to build their country. They did not build their country on truth. They built it on lies. They use lies like the Africans, the Indians, okay? Stolen things that they stole from different, all these uh, places. They use it to build their country, to develop their country. And these things, they didn't tell their children that this was how we managed to give you what you are enjoying today. And of course, today, their children have come to know the truth because the Indians are crying out. The Africans are crying out. Let's listen to him. That guy, the one y'all love, while he was busy setting the slaves free in the South, he also had the Union Army busy stealing land from the Cheyenne and the Arapaho out in Colorado and massacring them. Hmm? What's to prevent the history books from telling kids how we banned all Chinese immigrants from the country starting in 1882 for 10 years? Can you imagine that? Africa, why Africans have, they think that they were only the people that were enslaved. They were only the people that the, the, the Caucasian did, uh, you know, uh, we are racist too. Did you hear that? For a good 10 years, all Chinese citizens were banned not to enter U.S. What is that? Is that not racism? And they never taught that in their school. They never taught their children. So it is not only African, but where is Chinese today? This is where Africa is getting it wrong. Africa wants to continue to relax. Oh, we are, they, are, they are slaving us. They, are invade, they invaded us. They stole our artifacts. They killed our ancestors. They did, did, they did that. They are relaxed because Africa is still praying. But everything they did to Chinese, today, Chinese is one of the most powerful countries in the world. The West, I mean the West, America, they are afraid of Chinese because as Chinese is economic power. The Chinese people never allowed what they did to them to weigh them down. Instead, he gave them force. They, they started growing. They started being very innovative. They started being creative-minded. They started to do things. And today, Chinese is a powerful country. Yes. Chinese is a powerful country. The West is afraid today because Chinese is like this. With Russia. Chinese and Russia, they are like this. You know what it is? If Chinese and Russia should come together, the West is afraid. Okay? Mass lynching in American history, the biggest one, was when a mob of 500 angry whites and Latinos lynched 17 Chinese laborers in woke Los Angeles, California. You want your kids knowing about that shit? Mm -hmm. You want your kids knowing that we've been horrible to more than just black people? You get that? You want them to know that they're Yeah, look at what he said. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you want your kids to know that we've been 
horrible more than just black people which means they were told that black people are horrible can you hear that can you hear what this guy is saying that do you want your kids to know that we were more horrible than black people how can you say black people are horrible when you are the one that invaded that stole that destroy and continue to destroy their resources between you and you that is a thief and the person that you came to steal from, who is horrible? Who is the criminal? But like you know, the story they told us, the most saddest part of this whole thing is that we, the African people, the lies they told us, we are still holding it. We are still holding it so precious to ourselves. We, we, don't, want, we don't want that lie. We don't want to let it go. Very, very few people minority of African people that have waken up to the reality to say we have been lied to we have been deceived we need to do something our ancestors must be proud of us we must restore the value of the African people back if not if not you can't say it's not my problem oh I don't have time for all those talk now I don't have time for freedom talk let's move on let's move on come on come on if you move on, the same way you are moving on, your children will come. They will continue from where you stop. Powerful people are a people who they lead the way. They make the way easy for their, their generation unborn. Not those who are waiting for their generation unborn to come and do what they are supposed to do. What we are doing today is what our ancestors would have done for us in the past. Japanese ancestor did it for the Japan people. America used a nuclear power, okay, a nuclear weapon to invade the Chinese people. They launched it and that thing destroyed the Japan. Destroyed Japan and they, a lot of them died of different kind of sicknesses, diseases, etc. Does that stop the China, Japan people from uh, uh, becoming who they are today? As small as Japan is today, the Japanese people are powerful. They they never allowed that thing to weigh them down. They came up, they gathered themselves, and today Japan is one of the most powerful countries. When you talk of technology, Japan Japan should be one of the number three. Number three, Japan. Despite they were, they were invaded with nuclear weapons to eradicate them completely. African people must learn to be resistant and resolute and most especially to focus, focus on how to be free totally. Because that's the reason why all of us are suffering. All of us are suffering. Some of us don't like going back. Do you know why? Because we hear, oh, they are kidnapping people. How can you go to your, your motherland? You can't move freely in the street with your family. What kind of visit is that? What kind of visit is that? You see, the thing is affecting everybody. It's affecting those in diaspora. Okay? They can't go home because they are afraid. It's affecting those back home. Because there is no money. The poverty, the, 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 the rate of poverty is becoming high and high and high every day. So everybody is affected by what is happening in Africa. Okay? Yes, of course. Uh, like George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and Mr. James Madison, the father of the Constitution, not only owned African slaves, yeah, they that. literally built the law of this country, the God blessed constitution. He's telling you now that those your your heroes that you love, that you you praise them, that built this country for us, they own they were owning African slaves. That's what he's saying. This is not a, a, a black man talking. For you to know that people have conscience. That's why when I see some people condemning all the Western, I will tell them, don't condemn all of them. 
and you see some westerners will be condemning all the africans africans haven't, haven't done anything bad to you if you condemn the whole of africa because some of them came here to to be doing illegal business to be doing illegal things criminal and all that you don't have to use because of those ones to condemn uh, the whole of africa and you know the reason why they are coming to do those things because you also came to steal you came to steal you stole now let me let me sh sh shock you people i want to sh i want to read one verse in the bible for for us so because our people we have a lot we have a, a really a long way to go let me read this verse for you okay um I will read it for us and then I want you to to ponder on this uh, very uh, verse that I want to read for you. Okay? Look. Look at this verse. This is uh, John. John 10.10. 10. John 10.10. 10. I want to read John 10.10 10 for us. It said, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy remember the thief came only to steal and kill and destroy i have come that they may have life and have it to its fullness who are the people that we are stolen from that their land their soil their farm their their ancestors they were destroyed who are those people that their, their ancestors were killed, were brutalized? Who are those people? Who did it? It is the thief. It is the thief that did it to your ancestors. So, but some of us, when we read this verse, we'll be referring this verse to one old man in our village. It's very sad, Africa. Something you, you need to have inspiration to understand what the scripture is telling you. The thief came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Today, can you now understand that the Bible is the book of life? It's the book of life. It's telling you, it's left for you to now try to connect the dots. Who is the thief that came to Africa to steal, to kill? And to destroy Africa. Wow. But I have come. That you. May have life. Who are those. That were held in captivity. He said that. I have come to set the captives free. There is nowhere in the history. That. Those who came to steal. To kill and to destroy. Were under captivity. They were those that took the African people in captivity. All over the world, you see, in Australia, Africans were there. Of Africans, were, they are the original owner of Australia. They came, they destroyed, they kill, they steal, and they took them to the island. They removed them. The, the African people are in Guadeloupe, French island, in case you don't know. They are blacks. In French island from France to that place is about 10 15 hours they are in where they call what one place they call Martinique there are people like you and I some of us think that black people are only in America and uh, in, in Africa no the Guadeloupians the Martinicans the Guanians they are all French they call them French, black French. Why are they not in France? Ask yourself. Why are they not in France? France called them Outre-mer. Outre-mer. That's what they call them. They put them there to gain territory. That's why. If you look at France, you will say that France is a very big country. Do you know why? They gain territory through sea. Through highlands. Who are those people in these islands? They put the African slaves there. Then they now say they are all French. They are all French, but they cannot be in France. They have to be there. Today, those areas are French territory. But 
A time will come when those people will want to separate. I know that it will not be easy for them, but they need to take a step of faith and set themselves free. They can't continue to be under a government that did not put them, that did not recognize them as one, but put them, separate them in, in high land. They are under the French government. They are using French passport, but they are black people like you and I. I, I, I used to have one friend. Her name is Fabian. She's from there. You have, they have a lot of mixed children there, mixed color, because, you know, during those days now, as they, they put them in that highland, okay? Okay, he said, I started reading a book yesterday by Shinya Shebe. Okay, this made, this, uh, made uh, Finnish Nigeria history inside the book. You see, that book, is every Nigeria have to read that, that man's book. That man won a Nobel Prize. That book ought to be read by every Nigerian. Everybody should read that book. So I'm just trying to let you know, okay, that Africans are everywhere on this planet. The same thing they did in Australia is what they were trying to do in South Africa that led to the apartheid. And Mandela sacrificed himself for it. If not for the fact that Mandela came up and sacrificed himself, maybe the man will still be living today and South Africa will still be, they will still be enslaved. They will still be seen as slaves in their own country. These people that came, they are Dutch. They speak Dutch, Dutch language. They came and they tried to dominate. They are everywhere. When you say these things, they will be saying you are racist. How can you be racist telling the true history of how your ancestors were killed? They don't want you to say it. And when they don't want you to say it, they want you to believe the story, their own version of the story. They don't want you to take the version of from your own family, from your own ancestors. They don't want you. How can my mother tell me things that she knows about our history? And I went, and when I try to say it, you get upset because it's reminding you of the evil that your ancestors did to my ancestors. There is only one way, one way, the one, one thing that the world needs to do. The world for peace to reign. The Caucasians, they own Africa apology and they need to, they need to withdraw completely from Africa territory and allow Africa to be. Africa is very ready. To do business with them, very ready to 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 you know to do to 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 make life you know let's live and let's live. That is how Africans are. Africans are not people who want to dominate, take what not does not belong to them. They are the true children of God. They have the godly heart, and that that's why they were easily conquered. But today. Their children are here to do the needful, to set Africa free. Motherland must be free. Motherland must be free. So let's listen to this man. Found in equality. Did you know that Mr. James Madison believed that the government should be set up to protect the interests of the landed gentry? That's a college word for you. That's rich, landowning white folks, everyone. I'm just men. Everyone likes to say it was just men that could vote in the beginning, but that's just liberal propagandizing, my friends. It was white, landowning men. It was just uh, basically slightly more updated democratic feudalism. You know that scene at the end of Game of Thrones when the blind kid and uh, the big Amazon lady and the mercenary buddy of Jamie and Samwise Gamgee and the Hobbit guy and the old guy, then they all get together and they rethink all the mother of dragons shit and pretend to start a democracy. Remember uh, when Samwise kind of suggests giving everybody a, a real vote and everyone laughs at him? It, yeah, the founding of our country is basically like that, uh, except for George Washington wasn't blind. He didn't have visions. Uh, he just had bad teeth. You want our kids knowing about this? The democracy is a sham? Shit. What's to prevent us from putting in the history books that every last person we call an explorer to the new world was actually just a conquistador and their entire job, their their job, that they... Take note of what he's saying. 
the people they are calling explorer to the world they claim they went to explore africa they went to explore india they went to, they say they are conquest they went to conquer that's the right word to use on them they were never there to explore anything they were there to conquer paid for to do visa visa whatever european monarch sent them over here was to steal whatever natural resources they could about any population that was they repeat what the bible talk he say whatever they, they went to, to to do was to steal they went to steal in those days I, not not in, what, what am i saying in those days that was a uh, five or six, five years ago I was I, I joined a, an organization, um, Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria, and I was mod moderating France unit then. So we had a meeting, and the, the the idea was for us to go to the UK to protest for all the artifacts, Nigeria artifacts that are in UK museum, that they should release it to Nigeria. I remember. What made us not to go to that protest? I can't really remember why we didn't go anymore. We we have already printed our t-shirts, everything that we want, wanted to go to UK, but something came up and we didn't make that protest anymore. You know, African children are ready to to do something. The only thing that is lacking now is not that is that not all of them are willing. There are some that are not even willing to 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 for us to to get that the freedom to, to to be independent some are still feeling that the best thing is for them to just continue to be believing in that lies that was told to them they don't want to get out of it it's it's us them to for you to even try to remind them oh this is a lie this is a lie you were lied to they don't want to hear that's what is delaying our freedom but Africa must be free. We must be free, total freedom. Let's listen to him. Useful to their accumulation of capital and build as much wealth for the royal family that sent them so that family could defeat the other European empires, which were all cousins of them anyway. They were all trying to do the same thing. It's a slippery, slippery slope, my friends. Mark my words. If we tell kids about one kind of racism, they will find out about <laughs> all the kinds of racism, and then, God forbid, they will realize they can do something about it, and they will come out and vote. How does that make you feel? Millions of teenagers <sighs> voting. But, you know, uh, as he was talking in the beginning, he was afraid because he was looking left and right. You know, if the neighborhood should know that he's exposing this kind of thing, for him, it's not that they can do in, do anything to him, but he was not feeling too free to say it, but he had to do it. He had to do it. The guy is just honest. You know, he's just too honest. Now, let's go and see the lies told to, um, the lies told to our people. Now, I want to show you, um, I hope this is where I, I, I send this video to. Let me show you this video. The lies told to uh, the African people. Okay? And uh, storage is full. Okay, yeah, yeah. I will delete. Ah, my storage is full. Oh, my goodness. Let me see if this is the video. Oh, my God. Where is this video now? <laughs> I, I think I downloaded it. Let me check. You know, all these lies, all these lies must come to an end. All these lies must. Ignorance is not an excuse. It's not an excuse. So now, let's take a look at this one. This one is the lies told to us, you and I, our children. Okay. Hello, baby. Hello. In the law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're sending lies. <coughs> Excuse me. Femme la porte, s'il te plaît. So, let's listen to this. You, 
that people who were capable of more than this, creating this with this and this and this, sculpturing this, complicated things like this and mm. this, that they are not knowledgeable, that they are very poor, that you miss them roaming in the bushes. No. No European. Okay, I want to start it again. I read on a comment section when somebody, <laughs> oh my God, some of our people are very gullible. He was um, replying a, a post that was made. Somebody was saying that um, that we were lied to, that Jesus is white, etc. And the boy wrote on, on, on that, he said, you people should stop this. Do you, can you even do without the white people? Can you do without them? Eh? You can't do without them. If we like, there is no way African can can climb up to where they are. Black guy writing this, you know, he can tell you this is what how you would know the inferiority complex that is in some of our people. Now, this is to the video. That people who are capable of more than this, creating this with this and this and this, sculpturing this, complicated things like this and this, that they are not knowledgeable, that they are very poor, that you miss them roaming in the bushes. No. No Europeans, no Caucasians, no Western world. I command it. Now I command the history because history is him telling his story. I tell the history of what I see of Africans. These are people that were capable of making you build great buildings that are worthy of you placing their handmade artifacts, sculptures. So if they were capable of making you have built such a great buildings to put their handmade works, then they are not ordinary people. They are people with high intellects. So no, I command the history from the perspective I see and the things I see that my oh, ancestors mm -hmm. or the Africans yeah, in general that. are capable or were capable of doing. But I don't know how you want me to believe you that up until this very day you're still in the land of Africans scrambling for their mineral resources and killing them in thousands, not to talk of the millions of people that you have displaced. So no, I command the history. I shall tell the history of my people from the perspective that I've seen it. Exactly. They are the most, if not the most intelligent beings that walked on this planet Earth. They are highly advanced, and you appreciate their work so much that you make glass, glass boxes to keep their handmade work. Make una see una ancestors uh, artifacts. That is fine, but it is time for you to bring back what does not belong to you. Oh, this video. That's why I don't like downloading it. Of my ancestors. Uh, did you see the? You, did you see glasses? Hey, these people. These people, that is a. Did you see the glasses where they store artifacts from African uh, uh, ancestors? What our ancestors made with their hands? Did you see those artifacts, those glasses? They protected them jealously. That is nothing must touch them. Do you know bronze, gold, those things were made with natural hands, no machine. They conserve them. They keep them. For them to release those things, eh? <laughs> they no go agree to release them because those things are the most valuable items where, it, it, where they get as it is. It's not, it's not for them, but they can never release it. You have to, as an African, you will pay 13 pounds. 13 pounds to go to their museum. To go and watch what they stole from your own ancestor. You pay 13 pounds to go and watch it. Just to go there. You will see the name there. Oba Overame. Oba this. Uh, the face of Oba. Everything is there. Come on. These same people. They came and they gave us what they think is not valuable. And they took what is valuable away from us. Let's reason. Don't think they brought God to you. They, don't, they didn't bring God to you. You already know God. You already have a relationship with God before they came. In Yoruba language, the Yoruba people, they give their children names after the God they worship. 
if these people are the ones that brought God to us, how come a Yoruba person will be bearing Oluwa Femi, Oluwa Bumi, Oluwa anything, the other, they call it like that. The same thing goes with the Igbo. The same thing with the Urubu. Igbo, they call she. They call she, uh, Shuko Emeka. Shinyere. It is God. That she that is there, it means God this, God that. Chibuzi. How come? If people brought God to you, how come your ancestors were bearing the name of God before those people came? Like my name is called Ejirog and I praise God. Yeah, you see that? We bear, uh, we bear the name of our God. They didn't bring God for us. They brought their own version and make our own look that our own is not good, our own is evil. But in fact, we are the true children of the, God, the true God. It is there. It is there in the Bible. It is there. And I ask, I ask, who are the people that are known to, for breed, to, to be braiding their hair? The women. Is it not African women? Do you see the Chinese women braid hair? But they can't. You can't braid their hair because it's rubber. The Western women, the Caucasian, you can't braid their hair because it's rubber. It is only the African woman hair that can be braided because it's like a wool. And Apostle Paul was addressing and making reference to the, the braided hairs, women who are braiding their hairs. They came and they told you, you think they own God, they own Christ, they own everything. And you are buying it. You are displaying, you are praying, you have the, the white Jesus behind your, 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 your room. You have the white Jesus, you have the white Mary. Igbo people must wake up from this idolatry that was sold to them through Catholicism. Igbo. I love my Igbo brothers so much. But there is one thing that they need to do to wake up from this idolatry of white Jesus, white Mary. It has to start from Igbo land. That's not our culture. It's not our religion. It's not our way of life. It's, a fo it's foreign. It's foreign. Let me show you people again this. Uh, let me show you. Oh, no. Don't pass this place. Thirdly, we're still in the land of Africans scrambling for their mineral resources and killing them in thousands. Hey, and I want you to just take a look at that, please. Of people that you have displaced. So no, I command the history. I shall tell the history of my people from the perspective that I've seen it. They are the most, if not the most intelligent beings that walked on this planet Earth. They are highly advanced. And you appreciate their work so much. You that see it. You make look. Glass, these are all Africa artifacts. Glass boxes to look, keep their in their museum. Works to preserve it. You see, that is fine. But it is time for you to bring back what does not belong to you. Exactly. For these are the handmade works of my ancestors. I deserve to see them and feel them. For you have for a long time deprived me of not seeing those artifacts, idols that you lay down in those museums. And one of the reasons why you still withhold African artifacts is because... They call these artifacts idols. They took them away. They called them, they said they are idols. They brought another idol for you, which is white Jesus and white Mary. Can't Africans reason... Can't you reason? They took your own from you. They said your own is evil. And they went and be used, making money with it. They brought their own for you. Why Jesus, white Mary? Is there anywhere in the scripture where it is written that Mary is white, Jesus is white? Reason. Africans should start waking up and dump all these things that they, they brought to us. Dump it for them. Dump it for them. That is when they will start respecting us. If we don't do it, they will still be seeing us as their slave. Because when you when you when you adopt a dog, okay, you name that dog, you give that dog a name, and that is the name everybody will be calling it. They feel that they believe that or is real really that they came, they colonized us, they gave us name like Nigeria, uh, Ghana, this they gave us name, okay. And to today we are still bearing those names. 
So, what makes you think you are free? Do you know the day you will come out and say, we don't want to bear that slave name anymore. We want to bear another name. They will start respecting you. They will say, ah, these people are eating the forbidden fruit. The fruit we gave to them that blind their eyes, that they don't know who they truly are. The, that fruit is no longer there. They have eaten another fruit that opened their eyes. They don't want to bear the slave name anymore, the name we gave to them. African people must wake up. African people must wake up. If there is any reason why I, I, I must support Oduduwa, Oduduwa is the natural, is the, is the ancestral name of the Yoruba people. Then you have in the north, you have the Ariwa. The Ariwa is their ancestral name. That is what they wear. Then you have the south, the Biafra people. These are names, these are the, the way what these people were known for. Just one man came from UK. He's a, you, 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 come together. Today, I will call you Nigeria. And since that time, to today, that's why people are suffering. People don't have cultural value in common. No traditional value, no religious value. People are different. They force them, bring them together by fire, by force. And today... There is what we call tribalism. What do you expect? What do you expect? Did they agree? They never agreed. They forced them to come together. People, African people must be set free to get it right. We will never be respected though. Our people will walk like Jackie. Walk and walk and walk and walk. When they send the money, when they send the gold, the mining, everything they mined, the uranium, they, they, they will mine all these things. They will think they have sold it for a valuable amount. When they brought them to Europe, they will be selling them very expensive. Small gold, like for example, now this small gold, gold earring. Go and buy it in market here. Go and buy this small one. If it's too cheap, maybe, let me say 250 euros. That is about 250,000 naira. This tiny small thing. But do you know that the gold that they will melt together to make this, they may buy it maybe 10, 50 cents. Or let me say 1 euro. They may buy it for 1 euro, which is uh, 100 naira. They will buy it from 100 naira. This is what they were doing to Niger Republic before Niger cut rope with France completely. Niger don't cut rope in case no no no. Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali, they don't cut rope. Now, they are working towards having their own currency. They will no longer be using French franc. How can African countries, French colonized African countries, don't have their own money? Their money is being printed from France to them. <laughs> My people, who did this to us? Yet, statistically or scientifically, it was proven that the black man has nine DNA counts. Chinese have six or seven. The Caucasian, which is the Western, they have six. And it's, they say that, according to the, the result, it says that the higher your DNA counts, the more genius you are. This has to do, this has to validate what our ancestors built with their hands, their own ancestors, what did they build? To tell you that African people are the people that we are chosen as an example, as a light to the world. But these people were taken for captivities. Connect the dots and know who you are. Because you make this point that Africans cannot preserve their own arts. It's just like saying that you steal a clothes from another and you tell them the reason why you stole the clothes and wear it is because they cannot wear the clothes properly. Does that make sense? You've heard, you've, you see the video. Now, look, let me show you this. Let me show you this. We are physically strong. We have that strength. Yes, naturally strong. African people. Now, this is African people in Ghana.
mining gold. Let me remove the, the music. Look. This is African women mining gold. You see how they are suffering? Look. Just, just look at how something that God gives to them freely. The government cannot find a technological way, a modern technology to mine this thing and use it to, for the benefit of the people. No, look, this, this, this is how these people are suffering. And when they, when they finish mining the gold, they will come and buy them cheap, cheap, cheap. They will buy them cheap. Now, the uranium of Burkina Faso, <coughs> excuse me, France used to buy one kilogram of uranium for 80 cents. 80 cents. Oh my God, less than, less than 100 naira. They used to buy it per kilo. France will come back to France and sell it 200 euros. 200,000 naira. Who is a fool? Burkina Faso. And the, the man, Ibrahim Trehore, that took over from the puppet that was there, that was selling it for 80 euros, 80, 80 cents. Ibrahim Trehore came, is the one that caught, caught rope with France. Caught rope. Say, my people must be set free. Today, Burkina Faso will be the first African country to have a nuclear, a nuclear plant. Burkina Faso, the whole of Africa country. There is no Africa country that has a nuclear plant. None. But the West, the nuclear plants that they have, nuclear weapon that they have, all the materials, the minerals, the resources that they are using to build it, it's coming from Africa. But Africa don't even have one. Who did this to us? <laughs> Who did this to us? Yes, we have very good immunity. Don't even talk about our the melanin in our in our skin. Don't even talk about it. Yes, exactly. And that gullibility is what we are trying to educate our people. That's what we are trying to educate our people. Somebody told me the other time, hey, hey, Jiro, hey, if you start talking about um, uh, doing, talking about, uh, talk about church, uh, you know, promoting a uh, prayer, talking about church, promoting all this gospel music, I, I tell you, you have more followers because you are very good at this, but, you know, Nigerians don't like you to criticize their pastor, so, they will not follow you. I said, come on. I don't care and I cannot pretend. Anybody that wants to hear the message will follow. And it's not about having masses, foolish masses. It's not about having thousands of foolish, gullible followers. It's about having few followers who understand or who maybe they have not seen the light, but they want to, they want to see the light. They want to know the truth about who they truly are. That's what, what, I, what, what matters to me. Okay? And people who have big platforms, who are supposed to be educating the people, they are not doing it. Our people believe, they believe to run after celebrities. Those ones don't make their way home. Some of them will even tell you, Jakba, where are you the Jakba to? German government is, is just there on internet. If you want, I will Google it. German government is planning to deport 14,000 Nigerians. 14,000 Nigerians. Only Nigerians who know Ghana. 14,000. Adi Jakba. Adi Jakba. I need to Jakba. Let's Jakba. When you Jakba, they deport you. You go back to square one. Because once you the land Lagos, they go say, hey, now they go square one day for, for our brother B. Eh? Come here, you go stay here. You, your family will come and pay 150 to 200,000 to, to release you from uh, Kiri Kiri. That place they will put you because you must be go to prison once they deport you. Nigerian government will not, they will not deport you and just let you go home now. No, they will claim for your head now. 
Now, now they go Europe, they go spoil our name, Abi. <laughs> oh, yeah, come pay your dues. <laughs> if your family get leg there, maybe I, yes, they feel collect 100, but 200, 150. 14,000. Now they want the pot. Is a, is a breaking news. Let me go and check the, if I can find the news again. You are peculiar people. Oh, I've really, look, let me look at let me look at the the four people that are remaining. I will give una data una don't try. The people have really used your data. Please just send an emoji. Let me take note. I want to do screenshot. Send an emoji, please. Send me your emoji, please. Because I want to round up this program, but I need your emoji before uh this this emoji is for pot of soup. You guys have tried. I need your emoji, please. Okay, I have the heart from uh, Mr. Michael. Yeah, I need the emoji of who is online. Emoji, please. I think, okay, it's Mr. Michael and uh, Olua family that are remaining. The rest have left. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't have patience. <clears throat> they don't have patience. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Femi, Femi, is it your network? Because I know you are still live. I know you are still live. Okay. Femi, uh, Femi, uh, give me your, um, anyway, let me leave it at this. Let me do the screenshot. It's only the two of you. Because the other line is, uh, Okay, so uh, I'm going to send send it to two of you for staying up to this time. Yes, she's online. So uh, the last, there's one last video I will play. Then I will tell you good night because you guys have really uh, tried. Let me let me go and get you this video, please. To back up what I'm tell what I've been saying here. To back it up. Okay, this. Last video, go away. This last, in fact, let me just type the name so that I will see it fast. This last video, um, <laughs> so I want us to watch this last video for the benefit of the viewers. Okay, this last video is very important. When you think you are nothing, don't allow anybody to make you feel you are nothing. I think I'll make the, the close this video now. Ah. Now, wow, TikTok. Now, say sensitive. I don't put any sensitive uh, content for that video. Just a way to, to, to remove the video. Um... It's important that I play this last video. Very important. I did come now. Be with me. This last video. Uh... Okay, see this last video. Okay. This is the last video. I will play for you guys. Just pay attention. I don't want to talk. Let me allow you to go. Let me forward it. Do you really it. want to know who you are? How peculiar okay, you let are? Me allow it. How unique? How special you are to the world? Even though they are hiding it away from you? You want to know? Watch this video. You will be shocked at what you will hear. When they tell you that the West cannot live without Africa. When they tell you that without the natural resources that comes from Africa, the West and other countries will be collapsed. You think they are joking? Let me tell you, the real God's chosen people are the people with this color. When the, the Bible, the Torah, talks about the promised land, it was referring to the people from Africa. Okay? 
Watch this video. You will understand why you are so peculiar. Watch the video. Only are their DNA series different, but the number of DNAs in there are different in different groups. Whites have a different number of DNA, and blacks have a different number of DNA series. Apes have a different number of DNA series. Then they found this amazing thing, that the greater the number of DNA series, the smarter the person, the group is, the greater the probability of genius within that group. So they tested the orangutans, these 15 geneticists from around the world. These geneticists came from nine different universities. Now here are the names of these 15 geneticists from around the world. University of Japan, University of China, Yale University is the headquarters of this organization. What it said is this. This is the mind-blowing part. It said that when they tested the orangutan, they found out he only had three DNA series. When they tested the gorilla, they found that the gorilla had four DNA series, but they're a little, he's a little smarter than the orangutan. They tested the chimpanzee, which is an ape, and found that he had five DNA series. They went all into the different races of the world. They went into Europe and tested the DNA series of the English, the French, the German, the Spanish, the Russians found they had six DNA series. Then they put all of this, what they found from around the world on a map. And this map really is called the intelligence map of the world because they tested 116 different human groups and found their DNA series number. All of them, all over the world, have six. Then they came to Africa. But when they come to Africa, found out that the African people have nine, nine DNA series. We have nine DNA series. The greatest possibility of genius in Africa. When we broke it down and interviewed uh, Dr. Kidd, the head, he's the chairman at Yale University. We broke it down into plain everyday English so that the world would know that the African American is descended from those people who gave to the world the Great Pyramid, gave to the world science, gave to the world mathematics. A black man named Amos gave algebra to the world. How can a people become champions in everything they touch? Because they have nine DNA series, while the rest of the world has only six. It's in the world book and the encyclopedia. They don't want our children to know this. That's what, how can a people become champions in everything? I talked about lie. This topic is about the lie they told you. They don't want our children to know about this. Every other race has six DNA series. Africa has nine. Chimpanzee has four. Gorilla has three. You see it? They are even closer to animals. And that is why it says that they came from animals. Okay? And if Africa has nine, and the higher you get, the more genius you are. That is why African win in any sport they do. They win. Okay? You now understand how peculiar you are. Don't allow historical lie to destroy that which you truly are. I will drop it here. And of course, Mr. Some Mr. Michael and um Oluwa Femi, both of you have really made me proud tonight. So I'm going to give you both of you two two pot of soup. Two, two pot, not one pot. Because one pot is 5K. So two pot is 10K. So two pot of soup each. And I say, good night. Love from me. Share this video and let it go viral. Good night. Bye for now. <laughs>